Hello gamers, here we are again for another video for Fantasy Grounds 2. Today I'm going to go into some detail about the libraries and how they work. The libraries, when I'm talking about that is the function right here. Basically what a library is, is it's a module which you have to actually have open in order to access it through the library. So all that information in the module you access through the library here, which I have quite a bit open here. So if I click on library, you're going to see a list of the modules that I have opened up. Okay, so we got the player's handbook, we got some of the supplement guides and whatnot. All right, let's say the player's handbook. This one's a really nice one. Um, it's got conditions, so um, you can click on here, blinded, dazed, all that. You can see what it does and the pluses and minuses it has. Uh, you can check out the feats, um, feat list here. And if you're not sure exactly what feat does, like this alertness here, because it doesn't show there, just click this little icon. This is a link icon, by the way. So if you click that, it usually will open up something. Okay, so in this case, it will open up, and it tells you what the benefit is. Uh, items. You can click on these. And it makes it nice when you're making a character, because instead of having to type everything out, um, you can just drag and drop that stuff in there. Like uh, this one, I haven't really made this tune at all. Um, but we'll go to inventory and we're going to give her some scale mill. Yeah. So just take that, drag it over, and voila, it even has the weight, which automatically adds in. Of course, the armor class in that um, you'll have to manually add. But it sure beats having to physically type all that out. Um, and when you get into like the uh, combat arts and the spells, it makes your life so much easier. So you got that. There's the magic items and whatnot inside the player's handbook in case you were to acquire one. Uh, let's say a magical implement. There you go. There's the list. And just drag and drop. Okay. Um, and then down to powers. Um, so we'll go down to powers, uh, cleric powers, and lance of faith. We can just drag and drop that. In another session, I will actually show you how to manually input um, powers in case you're unfortunate to not have access to a mod already. Um, it's actually pretty simple. The hardest part is actually typing it out. But once again, I will go into adding powers and spells in a later video. I'm trying to keep these short um, so you can follow along at your leisure and pick things out that uh, you're not quite sure about. Okay, so we got that. Um, there's racial traits in here. You can drag and drop these. Uh, I usually put these in the abilities. There are some um, class features or racial abilities like Dragon's Breath here that you'll actually want to put on the power section. Like if they do damage or if they do buffs, you'll want to put them in here like in a situational. Like this Dragon's Breath for a Dragonborn, I would actually put it over here and it will actually, it'll drop it down in the encounter power. And it automatically has the stats and the rolls and all that in there. Okay, um, let's see. We also have rituals there they are um, reference I will go through right now actually so the reference section um, is where I took the time to actually put in the whole book so when I'm busy playing and I got I usually have a stack of books next to me but sometimes with everything I want to um, look it up. And sometimes the book is buried or I leave it in another room and it's like, oh man, I'm too lazy to go run and get it. So I got the reference here. So 
um, you can follow along in the reference and it's just like reading the book. You go to chapter one, introduction, and the intro part. And it tells you about it, role playing game and whatnot. You can go down to making characters, so the introduction, uh, say generating ability scores. Um, so you can see what the standard array is, or you can look at ability scores and it gives you descriptions and whatnot on there. Um, it gives you a list of your different uh, deities available. Um, character races, um, so you can click on that, click on stats, and we'll tell you that. And there's links here that will actually open up the racial um, the racial powers that you can drag and drop onto your character sheet. You know how to play. You know, just like I said, it's just like having the player's handbook available, um, just so you don't have to go and um, find your your player's handbook wherever it, it may be at. Uh, it's nice having both the book and the module available. But sometimes, um, like I said, you might take it and read it at night in a different room, and you need it. But not all modules will have that reference. Uh, for example, um, I know I have one of these here that um, doesn't have a reference section. Let me go over to the GM section and find one here so you can see. Uh, actually, I know Heroes of the Shadows. Do, 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 do. Uh, of course, I'm in a hurry trying to find it. Let's see here. Heroes of the Fallen, Gotten Kingdom. Okay, so I do have it open. I just have it under 4E Shadows. Here's a shadow, which um, sometimes, depending on who does it, it may not actually show up down here. Um, but actually, I do have it right here. So you can see on this one, I didn't actually do the reference. Shame on me, I know. But um, it's got everything else listed there. So for some of those books, yes, you do actually have to have it the book there but still the most important part all the powers weapons familiars and everything is all listed there so you can drag and drop and later down the road in an advanced feature for EGMs I will be going over how to use uh, the parser program along with your DDI subscription to make your own module anyhow that basically um, ends my brief tutorial on how to access the library modules and how to use them. Anyhow, happy gaming and I will see you next time.